Hello horror fans, and welcome back to Dead by Daylight. In this episode, I'm going to try to do the Savior Challenge, where I have to unhook two survivors safely, and it has to be completed in a single trial. So in order to do this, and to hedge my bets a little bit here, I'm going to use my Bill character, as he's the one that has borrowed time. It's the only perk I'll have on him, because I've not leveled him up at all. But with borrowed time, when I unhook a survivor from a hook, for the next 15 seconds, if they're hit and it would put them into the dying state, they instead are put into the deep wound status effect. Then they have 10 seconds to mend themselves once they are outside the killer's terror radius. So with this, I should be able to unhook a survivor, even if they get hit by the killer, they should then have time to heal, and so I should get the safe unhook points. And that's the plan I'm going with. I hope to use this to get the two safe unhooks and to complete the challenge. So with all of that in mind, let's jump into a game. Okay, so we're on Lampkin Lane. This is a fairly good map for survivors overall, I find. So I'm not too upset about that. I'm going to go ahead and see about plugging away on this generator here. Is why not? See what happens. For one, let's see if there's a hex ruin or not. Because if there is, then I'm not going to be able to do anything here. Alright. Everybody came in and looked at me as I'm doing this generator. They're probably wondering the same thing I am as to why am I doing a generator? <laughs> but I mean, hey, let's get some points here. Why not? Alright, no hex ruins, so that's a good thing. Go ahead and just keep cranking away on this. Now, since I'm not using my Fang Min, if I have a miss, this generator is going to explode. Which will not be the greatest thing. Alright. Going fairly well so far, so knock on wood that that continues. And hey, I did a generator all by myself. I only had one skill check, so it's not exactly like it was a challenging generator. But still, I did a generator by myself. I'm going to be a little bit proud of that. Now, as I said, I mean, my main goal here is to free people from hooks. So, for one, I need the killer to find somebody else and hook that other person. have completed the generator inside that house and still no sight or sound of the killer <laughs> interesting so for one I'm wondering if it's a wraith or somebody like that who can sneak around very possible as Bill I blend in fairly well so that's a good thing and really, I just want somebody to get hooked so I can go rescue them. I want to be a good teammate and save my teammates. Safely. Alright, somebody's working away on that generator. I'm going to go ahead and get this totem over here while I'm waiting. <laughs> Might as well. Alright, it is a race. As I said, I do want to save this guy, so I want to be fairly close when he gets hooked. I'm going to go ahead and hide back over here. And hope that he gets hooked somewhere in this area. I'm 
hoping I'm back on this hook right here. No, was not on this hook right here. Where did he go to put him? Alright. Now I could get seen here doing this. But you know what? I'm gonna go ahead in for it, because I need this safe hook rescue. Alright. Run away, Bill. That's fine. Chase after me. So I got one of the two safe hook rescues that I needed done. And I'm down again. Alright. Well, that's fine by me. Gonna try to make him walk through the wall here. Guess he's telling me no for the hook rescue I did? I don't know. Not exactly sure on that one, but alright. Oh, if somebody had been there, they could have gotten that pallet slam on him. Alright. I am hoping that somebody will come and rescue me. I'm also hoping that that guy will not get found right away and knocked down. Because I would love to save him. Is he going to come farm me is the question. Yes he is. I want the safe hook rescue because if I can get it, then I will get my mission completed and that's good enough for me. Alright. We have gotten that. That's fine with me, Mr. Wraith. Not sure why he keeps looking at me for a bit before he picks me up, but it's whatever. He's not at all being really trolly or anything like that, so... I'm gonna try to get off his shoulder. Not gonna make it, probably. But that's alright. Alright. Now let's see if we can go ahead and survive on here and still get rescued. That will be the question. Alright, I'll let her go ahead and heal me now, because we have gotten the achievement I believe we needed done. Then I'll actually go see if I can find a generator and put myself on it and be of use. Alright, so we know he was over there. I'm gonna go in here, see about this generator perhaps. Sounds like it's done, done a decent amount here, so... Must be in this room. Yes, it is. I had seen the Wraith coming in this direction, so I wanted to make sure he wasn't going to just immediately down me here. Because I'd love to get the escape if I can. Alright, go ahead Bill. So Bill had come back over and it helped. We were able to get that taken care of. So we only need one more generator left. I'm gonna head back over this way because if I can get that totem, I want that totem. Well, Bill got there first. He wants the totem. I'll let him have the totem. Alright, 
They've got the rescue. Oh, no, the person's dead. Never mind. All right. There's usually a generator downstairs here. So I'm going to check if it is. And if it is, I'm going to work on this generator. All right. Not in there. But there is one in here. Okay, never mind. All right. The wraith has gone invisible. I want to get out the back of this room here. That's right. I did not see where the doors were. Someone disconnected. Not sure why they disconnected. But that's not really that good. Okay. Let's see if we can find this door, because otherwise we're going to be in trouble. I'm going to run around the outside of the map here, hoping that it's over on this wall is the door that he opened. It is. All right, so we should have a clean escape here. And there we go. Nice. We got the 5,000 points for surviving. That worked out really well. Alright. So we completed the challenge by unhooking the two survivors successfully. We actually did get a decent amount of blood points there. We worked on a couple generators, so we did well overall. I'm pleased with myself with that. And we did get down really quickly in matches, but, you know... That's going to happen in points for me. All right. So, yeah, we went ahead and got second place out of the survivors here, so not too bad overall. I'm all right with that. So let's go ahead to the archives and see what it is we have as far as the story. So we have unlocked tier 9 here, which gave us some more serum and part of the wraith outfit, so that's good. And as far as the tome, let's see what it has to say. Home. He doesn't even remember where home is. He only remembers the void. Hundreds, maybe thousands of discarded survivors. Not dead, not alive, something else. Alive but dead inside. Burnt, emotionless, useless to the entity. He remembers. He remembers rising from the void, finding a flower. Had this flower been his salvation? Had the flower been his way out? He falls to his knees and shouts at the abyss, and the abyss answers with silence. The silence is so deafening it hurts. He buckles over, climbs to his knees. He needs serum. Okay, so it sounds like the alchemist was a survivor at a point that lost too many matches, and because of that, became one of the sort of, I'd say, not living anymore, but then the serum was able to bring him back. So very interesting. Let's see how that works out. All right. So we can go with unhook five survivors. That has to be done safely in order to get along here to go towards this. Then we need to do 20 skill checks, and then we'd have to do the great skill checks here. So, I think we'll progress in this fashion here, and we'll try to unhook five more survivors. We'll just do the same thing we've been doing with Bill. Okay, we got the Pale Rose, which is a good map for Survivor, really. It's very easy to hide in the reeds and such. Alright, sounded like there was the birds over by the boat already, so... Probably somebody's over there, and it's a pig that we're facing. Interesting. Alright, well, I'm just gonna 
go ahead and put myself onto this generator here. See how this goes. Okay, Claudette, you scared the heck out of me. Alright, I saw the pig coming there. Alright. So the pig went ahead and put a trap on the Claudette. Okay, somebody disconnected from our match already. Not exactly what I wanted. Let's go ahead and free Claudette. Alright, and now I need to go hide because she has make your choice. And she will no doubt be coming back for me. I'm going to hide in these reeds here. Hopefully that way I will not be seen. But I've already gotten the first uh, the first safe hook rescue that I needed there, so that's a good thing. All right, and make your choice has expired. So we'll let Claudette go off and do Claudette things. I'm going to hop back on a generator for right now. Hey, we got a great skill check even. Yep. I won't say that was because I was startled by the birds. That was actually just me doing that by accident. As I have said more than once, I am not good at skill checks. Especially with a pig being here, you don't know where she's lurking around at. So, it's making me a little bit more paranoid. I don't know what the other survivor is even doing. Okay, the same survivor's been found again. Let me see if I can get this done. So we at least have one generator done. Alright, we have two generators done. Good. Perfect. So I'm going to head up to the boat and see if I can do the one on the boat. Is why not? I'll trigger the birds. Maybe the pig will come after me instead of after the same survivor again. Don't know. Alright. The pig was within a radius of me, so... I know she's near the boat. Alright, I have a feeling she went into crouch and not into... shit that she didn't leave. Alright, but that other survivor has gone ahead and gotten another generator done. That's good. 
see what I can find in this chest here. Sure, I'll take the medkit, why not? I'm gonna start working on this generator. I know I can have my back to this area because the uh, stairway is broken. So I can somewhat see if the pig comes in this direction at all. Hopefully that Claudette is gonna get that trap off of her head. Does look, nope, she has not yet, but she got hit again. So she keeps getting found. But she has only been knocked down one time. All right. The other survivor was also now hit. was downed over there. Alright. So we have completed the boat. She's going to hang him right over there. Now I would somewhat like to go and rescue the survivor to continue on my archive challenge. But I want to be smart enough about it as well so that I don't get myself killed, hopefully. Hopefully the pig has run off. I guess we're about to find out. All right. And this is the advantage of the weeds. All right, the Claudette has gotten her head trap off. I wish I was in better weeds than this, but I'm not going to move right now. Gonna wait for the make your choice to expire first. Alright, make your choice has expired. Alright, she is patrolling this area pretty hard. I wonder if we got all the generators where they're all in the same area now. That would not be the greatest thing. I'm going to go head off in this direction, see if I can find a generator that's over here somewhere. I had somewhat hoped that I had completed that generator before he had gotten the head trap on, but it doesn't look like that is the case. So, alright. That generator's been done there. That generator's been done over there. There is a generator right here. One, if we can get in there, generator done, then our head traps become useless. That was not what I had wanted. I had heard the heartbeat, and I wanted to move away. Okay, so she's aware that this generator's on, but she has to patrol the generator somewhat. So, 
I have her at a little bit of a disadvantage here. Not that great of one, and she did see me definitely this time. Or did she? Could have sworn she had seen me, but it's hard to tell. She might not have. Uh, oh. Alright. She's patrolling that area a bit too much for my liking. I'm going to see if there's another generator somewhere a bit further away that I can go to. We know one of the doors is right here, so that would be a good thing. Considering I did the boat one, I would love to survive this match and actually get the achievement for it. Though, me surviving is always not the most realistic. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and do this totem while I'm here. Might as well get it done. So that's been done. Alright. We have one that's been worked on pretty well here. So I guess the pig probably chased that person off of it, but hopefully they were able to get away from her. I'm going to hopefully get this door done without being caught on it. That's my goal. Sure, I'll go ahead and heal you. We'll even use the med kit on him. Alright. Let's go ahead and leave, I'd say. And we got the all aboard achievement unlocked. Awesome. We got two survivors saved, so that's a good thing. We have to continue with this challenge in order to get the other three that we need. Okay, Shelter Woods. Have not played this yet as a survivor, I believe. So, I will say having played Killer as much as I have is an advantage, I feel, because then I sort of know what's going on in a match. Alright, and this person's been playing a bit, you can see, as they have both the Halloween piece and the uh, completion of level one of the archives tracks already. All right, so it is a wraith. He is somebody somewhere nearby here. Not going invisible, which is sort of interesting. found somebody else. No Hex Ruin again, which is a good thing for me. Alright, I want these unhooks. So...
All right. I do not know where he is, so I would run. <laughs> or you can get on that generator right there. That's your prerogative. I'm going to probably head back to my generator that I was working on. Right, there's two of them there working on one. Personally, I just prefer to work on generators alone. Okay, I have been spotted. There's no question on that. All right, he is kicking it, so that's a good thing. Got the pallets done on him. Is he actually still coming after me is the question. Does not appear so. All right. But as I was saying, I do like to work on generators by myself because then if I blow it up, it's only on me. Somebody else is not getting injured or anything for my shortcomings. So that's sort of my logic. Not that I don't trust other teammates and stuff. It's just I don't want them hurt by my inadequacy. All right. We're just going to leave a flashlight there because I cannot use a flashlight at all, so leave that there for somebody who might be able to. Once again, I do want to get these safe hook rescues, so I'm going to try to be over here for this. Alright, so he's not taking her to the basement. He's probably trying to get his Halloween hooks himself. want to be healed here we'll try it I'm trying to make some noise to make sure okay he was not paying attention to me at all because he was after somebody else did not realize that Another hook rescue. We'll see about healing her here. There you go. All right, perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and work on cleansing this totem then. What are you doing, Claudette? It's a dull totem, but at the same time, you know, he might have no ed, so I'm going to go ahead and cleanse it. And somebody disconnected. Okay. There's no real reason for that, that I could see at least. Okay. Alright, I'm going to go back to my my generator over here. They're playing around with him a little bit, which is fine. 
I think I've achieved my archive mission already. So let's just see if I can get my generator done. See how that goes. And he has kicked it again, so it's back to pretty much square one. But I'll get plugging along on it again. We'll see how it goes. And he did see me. All right. There are no pallets here, so I'm probably going to be going down soon. All right, tried my best. We have a person in the basement doing something over there. We do have somebody that got an air generator done, so that's good. And I know where the hatch is. It's right over here. So if I get rescued and the other two were to die or something, then we know where the hatch is. We could all get out. All right. She's been hurt. Hopefully she comes over and gets me here quickly. Otherwise, I'm in a lot of trouble. Oh, great. We're going to see if I can get this done or not. I cannot. Darn it. Wasn't much I could do. I was wounded. I don't have the ability to heal. So. I'm going to crawl back towards the hatch. See if he'll let me have it. Don't think he will. He's going to go ahead and kick it. I'm going to crawl for it, though. See if he'll let me have it or not. Nope. Ah, well. Can't blame him for wanting to four kill. Not sure if he's trying to let me get out or not. I probably should have continued wiggling. All right. One chance only at this. He's going to go kick it. Wow. That was a bit on the trolley side by him. And he did have no ed. Well, I'm going to keep struggling anyway. See if I can get my wiggle points up. Or if there is wiggle points. Don't know why he's trying to hit me. Okay, then. Well, I was able to accomplish my archive mission, which was the main point. As I said, not exactly sure why he was mad at the end there. But anyways, with that, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. If you've liked the video, please go ahead and click that like button. And if you have not already, please subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon so that you're aware when I produce new videos in the future. Thank you, and I hope to see you all in the fog.